Afternoon, good afternoon, good evening. Nate Jackson, Criterion Collector and Viewer Guy here. Back in the 40s or something, I think it, I think it must have been the 50s, there was a Warner Brothers cartoon. Uh, it was kind of, a, they did like two or three of them. Um, I think one of them was called, the first one was called From A to Z. And had this kid, and he's like at school, and he keeps drifting off and dreaming about like, you know, he sees something and it slowly turns him to, he's like a big game hunter and, and he's like, and he's like an air pilot and he's like a bomber pilot in one scene and he keeps getting snapped back into reality and all that. Um, and it, it's one of the more memorable, like, you know, minor characters in the Looney Tunes shorts. And, uh, Ralph, Ralph something or other, I think his name is, now that I think of it. Well, uh, Ralph, all I can say is, you ain't got nothing on Billy Liar. <laughs> Number 121, John Schlesinger's Billy Liar. Hey, we're finally in the 21s, or the 20s. Uh, 98 minutes, 1963, black and white, blah, blah, blah. And as you can tell, yeah, we only got the disc. And, uh, yeah, I like, the cover is a little better, the cover for this one a little better than the uh, Rialto Pictures cover, so I decided to just turn that in and just use the disc version. Look at that, you know, it's a close-up of Billy, supposed to be. You don't see the, his girlfriend, Barbara, in the lingerie, but anyway, we'll talk about this one, because I just, I couldn't, uh. So... There, uh, Billy, Billy plays as, um, Billy Liar is, um, shoot, Billy, I forget his last name, something like that. Uh, Billy is this kid who is a huge daydreamer. He is constantly, his daydreams, like, take up all his time. He dreams that he's, like, a big general and all the time, and he, like, he's in wars and things like that. When people piss him off, he, like, like, he dreams he like dreams that he's shooting them with a machine gun and killing them dead and it's very very bizarre and very very surreal and all that so um yeah it's just it's very hard to, you know so he's very very caught up in his own dream world and so when he and but when he's in the real world he's just a total dickhead more or less um he is trailing along three different girls each of which he is engaged to. Well, I think two he's engaged to, and the third one is a girlfriend. Um, Barb, there's Barbara, who's like a very clean-cut girl who doesn't believe in sex before marriage, yet he, he totally wants her, you know, before they, before the wedding. And, uh, then there's another girl who's, who's quite the opposite, who's very loud-mouthed and all that. And I forget her name, but, uh, he only has one ring, and he's bouncing it back and forth between these two girls. And the loudmouth girl is like demanding the ring, and she, you know, and but yet Barbara hasn't. So he tries to get the ring back from Barbara. There's a whole whole lot of mess in there. Um, his he works at a funeral parlor, doing I think passing out calendars or something like that. And he's like he tries to like flush. I think he like he's like behind on his calendar intake or something like that and so he like tries to like flush him down the toilet or throw him off this cliff and yeah and so his but anyway his he guess he gets a job he's like working to get a job in london because he wants to be a screenwriter a playwright and uh he ends up getting like a job and he's going going for a job in london so he quits uh his job there and um yeah, I don't think he, yeah, he doesn't really have a job. He's just quitting and he's gonna go, like, I guess, daydream or something. Um, but basically, yeah, the, the movie is basically just about his daydreams and, um, how he just tries to wheedle his way out of everything and tries to, like, have everything on a plate and all that. And, but the, I mean, but it looks like the, at the end, it looks like he's gonna change because he ends up meeting the third girl who's played by Julia Christie. And she like is like a really she's kind of a really down to earth. She's a little more, a little more modern, and she's um, she's 
she's not necessarily like loud. She's not necessarily quiet, but she's definitely not loud mouthed or, um, she's definitely not like as prudish as Barbara is. And so, yeah, they actually end up like almost having sex in a graveyard at one point. And so she finally says, Oh, let's go to London together. And so he buys a ticket and, the end of the movie, he's like worried because he ends up running into the loudmouth girl, and I think Barbara's on the tr on the train at, at some point too. And so at the last minute, he runs off the train and tries to get milk for them, and he purposely waits long enough to miss the train. And he walks back and dreaming that he's like marching back with a million soldiers behind him to his house. And that's basically the end of the film. And I just, in that ending, it's, this is the second film with a really crappy ending, or a really stupid ending. What are we supposed to learn from this? Are we supposed to learn anything from this? Are we supposed to, I mean, like, is he, are we supposed to be happy with the fact that he's going to be a slack off for the rest of his life? Or, yeah, I don't get this one. Please feel free to chew me out on, on this one. I know a lot of you have chewed me out for my opinions on, well, one of you in particular chewed me out for my opinions. He who will not be named. Um, but uh, for this one, if I'm if I'm missing the point on this one, please just just tear me a new asshole, please, because I'm I'm lost. I really don't get it, and I don't like it because I don't get it. Um, I don't remember what I gave. I don't remember what I gave. Uh, how to get ahead in advertising, but I don't know between. The, between the two, I'd probably end up going with this one. So I think I gave it a B minus or C plus. So just to be safe, I'm giving it a B. Billy Liar gets a B from me. It's really confusing. It's Billy's not a very likable character, um, even with even if you know even if he in the end tries to have good intentions, um, he just he doesn't work for me. So. I can't give this movie anything more than a B. It's not that not that great, but but it's out of print, so I can't feel bad about not wanting to buy it. So hey, at least no one else is no one else can. So I would say watch it or check it out if you need to, but you can't, so it's out of print. So good luck anyway. And yeah, supplements. Uh, there's a 15 minute excerpt from a, a British cinema documentary about Billy Lyre and John Schlesinger, the director. Um, with interviews with uh, Tom Courtney, who plays Billy, and Julie Christie, and other, and I think the screenwriters, and the trailer, and that's about the size of it. So, Billy Liar, B, not that awesome, yeah. So, yeah, that's all I can say. So, thanks for watching. Uh, next, next is actually a Salesman. I forgot about the Salesman and Grey Garden. That'll probably be next week. We'll do those Sunday and Monday. Probably that'll be our two for next week. And then week after, we'll do the Carl Theodore Dreyer box set in one big sitting or one four-day block. Or maybe we'll do two in one. Maybe I'll do two in one day, and then I'll do, you know, the others Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday are my days off. So those are the days that I'll probably be doing them. And, yeah. So, yeah, but next week, uh, Salesman in Grey Gardens. So we'll do those probably Sunday and Monday. Probably not sure. Um, I'm not, not sure what the supplements are all about, but, uh, yeah, I knew, I know about them because they were the trailer, they were on the trailers to, uh, the trailers were on Gimme Shelter, uh, because they were directed by the same, the David, the Males, the Males group or something, or Males Brothers or something like that. So, I don't know. They look kind of interesting, look interesting. Uh, salesmen's about, I think, Bible thumpers or Bible sellers. Door, door Bible sellers, so it's going to be a trip and a half, and I guess it's a real-life documentary, so. Anyway, that's it for me, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't daydream like crazy because your ass going to get left at trains and holding milk and marching with invisible soldiers, and you look like a dumbass. And that's about the size of it. And buy more than one ring. If you're going to marry two girls, buy more than one ring. And that's about the size of it. So thanks for watching, and we will see you to next week. Uh, next, probably Sunday. Sunday for Salesman. Until then, goodbye.